Welcome to Age of Empires 2, where the second the game starts, you're already making decisions. What to build, what to collect. It's a whirlwind. You might think keeping villagers busy is all that matters, but nope. The first 15 villagers need to do things in a very specific order, or else chaos. Almost every build starts the same way, and there's a good reason for it. I'm not just going to tell you how, it's time to understand the why behind the madness. So without further ado, let's break it down. Step 1. Queue villagers. Build houses. Two villagers on one house, one on the other. But wait, which house is the VIP here? It's the one with two villagers. Why? Because the moment your fifth villager pops out, you're maxed on population. No more villagers without a house. So, get that double team on the first house and save yourself from the horror of being housed 25 seconds in. Mayans? Chinese? Huns? They've got exceptions, but for now, just focus on not screwing up the house building. Step 2. Bring in the sheep. After the houses, send six villagers to sheep. Why six? Because your town center is a villager-making machine that needs 120 food per minute. Each sheep herder brings in 19 food per minute. Six is the magic number to keep that villager assembly line running non-stop. Not five, not four, six. Even the math agrees. Step three, don't drop the ball or food. Speaking of villagers, they gather food like it's their job, because it is. But don't get trigger happy with force dropping off food unless you have to. You'll just make things harder for yourself by messing up the delicate food balance. Be patient and queue up those sheep in the right order so your villagers aren't standing around wondering what to eat next. Step four, lumber time. Now on to wood. You need a lumber camp. And no, don't chop those lonely trees near the town center. Leave those for later when you're farming. Instead, send three, or better yet, four villagers to a nice patch of forest nearby. Why four? Because your villagers are hungry for wood and you've got houses to build and mills to make. Step five, boar, the ultimate villager fuel. After the wood situation is sorted, it's time to hunt some boar. Yes, the adorable pink monsters. Boars gather food fast, and you need that speed. Lure them in before your villagers starve, and don't let your boar-luring villager get eaten. It's stressful, I know. But hey, that's what you signed up for. Step six, berries for days. While the boar's being butchered, send the next villager to build a mill near the berries. Those juicy berries are a gift from the map gods, so make sure you take them. By now, you should have enough wood to build that mill without worrying about it. Step seven, more boar. Don't forget the second boar. When the first one has about 150 food left, go grab the second. This is where things get real intense. Boar, berries, villagers, houses, everything's happening at once. Just stay calm, breathe, and don't let a villager die. By this point, you should have 15 villagers plenty of food, and the world at your feet. Maybe you're going aggressive, maybe you're building up, you don't need to know your strategy just yet. But you do need to keep making villagers and pick up loom before you hit feudal age. In conclusion, there's some flexibility here, but the first 15 villagers have a mission, and now, so do you. Good luck!